E I E I. Stupid. I'm on lunch break, and pretty much just want to talk to you guys real quick before I go inside. I go back to work. First, love your family. Love your family. Like I don't care what disputes you got going on, what you what petty issues you got going on with your family. I want you to debt all those issues, debt all the drama, and really just rebind the family, rebind the the unity of the family. Because I just came back from home and. I, I feel like it's not like I have any necessarily family issues, but life is too short to to hold grudges against family. Uh, and I, I just went I went back home and I and I saw my 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 family and it's just like this is the first time I was home for Thanksgiving in two years. And I saw them and everybody's getting older and it's like I'm missing the time that I that I didn't have when I was deployed. And I just and that was one of the things that I really I, I, I regret. I don't have, I can't say regret, I don't have regrets, but it was one of the things that I, I hated for myself because while I'm over here, um, overseas, I'm missing time for my, my grandparent, my uh, my, family, my mother and dad, father. It hurts. When people get older, you separate kind of. Even me going home didn't really feel like home anymore in a weird way. Maybe that's just, I don't know, maybe because it's just other small things, but like even home didn't feel like home. And I just want to say life is too short for grudges life is too short for you to have family to not treat them like family life is too short for the, the drama why do you have drama that was just with a little piece that i had on my mind but really had to get that off my chest uh with that being said today is december 5th today is currently december 5th and we are so close to the end of the year i'm so excited for it uh, next year i'm so i'm just excited for it to see what's upcoming this month i want to see how far how far we can get this channel going i want you guys to see what i'm looking at look at this look at this view like, oh my goodness this view is crazy. It's crazy. That's crazy. See that view, man? Life is too great. I'm right now. I'm going on a little rant. So let me just get let me just get this little rant off before I go back inside. Um, so I just got told that I just got. I mean, I've known about it for a, a little minute, but I'm about to go inside and I'm about to get this field grade. They're trying to recommend me for a field grade, and honestly, it's very out of pocket, and it really hurts because. People in the military are some of the fakest people that you will ever meet in your life, I promise you. I've had a conversation with the commander, or I've had a conversation with uh, a captain, or I have had a conversation with anybody, and then they come around, they speak something to me, they'll tell you one thing to your face, but then they'll go behind your back and they'll, they'll recommend you for a field grade or a, a counseling statement or something that's so negative on your career. But we're literally sitting in your face and act like everything is okay with you. Like, everything's fine. And I'm trying to understand, y'all wonder why the military, especially the Army and all these other branches, why people don't like it. People don't love doing what they do because the military does some of the most foul. The people in the military do some of the most foulest things. But people in the chain of command, like I've said thousands of times, people who are higher up higher up on the, the, on the ladder, y'all feel like y'all can talk to people however y'all want to. But then they still expect respect at the end of the day. How does that work? How can you be a team player? How can you be a, on a team but not be a team player? How can you expect? It's like it's kind of like, did your parents not teach you anything when you were a kid? Did your parents not teach you respect, common courtesy? Or you just got egotistical when you got your rent? So I, I tell people, man, like if you're going to join the military, understand what you're getting yourself into. Understand how you're going to maneuver through this military. Because it's, I can't necessarily say do not join the military. But I, but I can say, if you are gonna join, keep your head to a swivel, maintain distance between people, and make sure the people that you call your friends are really your friends. But be particular with who you call your friend, if that makes sense. You shouldn't, don't be friends with anybody in this military stuff because nobody really has your back. Nobody you have, nobody has the best interest for you other than you. And pray for me with this counseling. I don't wanna get this field grade counseling because if I get a field grade, that means that I cannot go to my school in, in July. And that means I'm probably gonna end up deploying again for the third time in a row, three years in a row. And hopefully that doesn't go through. Hopefully it doesn't go through. They understand my point of view. They, they understand what really happened and we can work it out. Hey fam, I just got done eating uh, lunch and I just want to tap in right quick with you guys because I want to say that everything everything right now is going pretty, pretty good. You know, I want to talk about the manager. I want to talk about being a, a manager. I want to talk about being a supervisor. Being put in a role, being put in a role where you got to lead other people and being in, in, in charge of stuff. Now, people think that just because I'm in the military and I've been a, a, a E4 for the past year or some change that I don't want to promote. 
But little do they know when I re-enlisted, I actually signed a, uh, a, a counseling statement saying I cannot promote because if I do promote or if I lose rank, I'll lose my seat in the house uh, for my for my school to, to uh, pretty much get my job. But what I want to say is today when I had my chance to actually do my job and actually lead, it felt pretty good. And I feel like people don't like the way I, I lead because I probably am just too assertive or I when I speak my mind and I try to put logic to stuff, to stuff, they don't like that, which I don't appreciate that mindset, but it was good to be in a position where you can actually lead people and, and actually understand what's going on, wh why you're doing what you're doing in the first place. It just feels good to know why you're doing what you're doing. That way, when you know what you're doing, you can get it done, you can go home. I always wanna be at work doing stuff that you don't know what you're doing and just be wasting your time when you could be doing other things, making some money on the side or doing whatever you wanna do. But that's my logic. <clears throat> But people in the army don't think that way. People don't, in the army don't feel like they don't understand. They don't understand that mindset, which I don't understand why they like to waste people's time. But what I'm saying is, I'm not afraid to lead. I'm not afraid to be in a role of position of not power but authority. I feel like when you lead people, you have to understand where you come from, where you came from, and that people are just people at the end of the day. No matter how high you get up in the ranks or how low you get in the ranks, you, people are still people. You cannot forget where you come from. And if you want people to follow you or, or take your, take your word. So you can actually lead them in a position where you want them to go. You, you have to be relatable and you have to be a person that people will want to follow or listen to. You can't be the jerk that nobody wants to, to listen to. And I just want to say, um, life is good right now. You know, the, the year is about to come to a close and I just want to really, I want to put blessings upon everybody who's watching this video because life is always constantly changing, moving, but don't be, a, don't be afraid or don't move too fast to where you can't appreciate the blessings that you have currently that you have today, like right now. I want you to understand that no matter what's going on in your life, the bad, the bad, the good, the tribulations, all that good stuff, all that bad stuff, never forget the blessings that you do actually have. I wake up every morning. Sometimes I dread waking up in the morning. Sometimes I, I wake up happy, but I have to always keep pushing forward because life does not stand still for nobody. Keep pushing forward no matter how bad it may seem. I promise you, because it's going to be light at the end of the tunnel. And to get to the light at the end of the tunnel, you have to keep moving. That's my little word of inspiration. And I want to just want to say I love every last one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. Today is currently December 15th, December 15th. And I just want to let you guys know, I just want to let you guys know. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever felt like you've been targeted in your life? Have you ever felt like somebody's been picking on you or your job's been picking on you or friends have been picking on you or whatever the case may be, targeted? I feel like I'm being targeted right now. I'm at, and, and my job, I feel like my job is, is targeting me because they know that I only have so many months left until I go to school. And they're doing everything in their power to either diminish me, undermine me, uh, hold me down, hold me back, or even kick away my school altogether. And it's a tough feeling because when you have pe people should be on your team. They should be on your side. They shouldn't want to undermine you. They shouldn't want to hold you back. They shouldn't want to they shouldn't want to mess over your career. But then you run into people in the military, you run into people at your job, you meet friends, and they want to do this for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't understand it. I just don't get it. I don't. Why do you want, why do you want to go out your way to ruin my career or ruin what I have going on? Why do you feel that way? Why do you hate me so much? Why do you have that that envy towards me so much? If if you feel like you're being targeted, I want you to leave a like on on this video. I want you to leave a like on this video because you're not alone in your circumstances. I want you to understand that people are sick. They're mentally ill. And that just because that they're sick doesn't mean that you have to stop being who you are. Keep being you. And if the result of it becomes you get fired from your job, then that's jo the job that you didn't even need in the first place. You need to be somewhere where you need to be embraced, loved, and appreciated. Or start your own business. Because at this point, it's time it's, it's time to come to reality and understand that why slave for other people and their and what they want when you could build what you have in your brain and bring it into the into the real world and have your dreams come to fulfillment. Why are you working for other people's dreams and passions? Use your brain. And use, use your mind and turn it into something that can be beneficial for you instead of using your brain for other people. That's what I look at it as. But if you have to work for other people, be somewhere where people are going to appreciate you, value you, and not undermine you. Because when that happens, that's when you, you get into that, that phase where you start drinking a lot of alcohol. You start smoking a lot of weed or smoking a lot of cigarettes. Or you start putting yourself in a position where it's not health, it's not a healthy environment for you. And people are going to wonder, why are people committing, why are people committing these harsh crimes to themselves? Why are we seeing a reverse of this person's character? Why? 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 We have all these questions, but we don't see what we're doing to them. We don't understand why my act, what my actions are doing to cause my worker 
to want to drink all the time or want to smoke all the time or want to commit har harsh crimes and not care about what the consequences will be. Because your bosses, they don't have that self-reflection period. Who's holding them accountable? Nobody. So yes, today is t currently, I said the 15th of December, it's almost two o'clock, it's Friday, I'm blessed. No matter what goes on with this military stuff, and if you want to join the military, if you really, if you absolutely just want to join the military, I always got to say, just keep your head up. Watch your back. But always don't forget the people that's around you. Just because people are not perfect doesn't mean that you got to stoop down to that level. Don't be afraid to reach back and bring others with you forward. Because at the end of the day, this is a team. If you just so happen to want to join the military, this is a team. So don't be afraid to reach back and, and, and embrace people. Ask them if they're, how they're doing. Ask them if they're okay. Ask them if there's anything that you need from me. Because when I tell you that's going to probably brighten somebody's day up, it probably will. It will. No, it, it's no probably. It will brighten up somebody's day and it'll make them feel better about coming to work. Because you don't know what somebody's going through. You don't know what they're going through. Just asking them those questions goes a long way. This military stuff is not easy. It's not easy at all. A lot of things being undercovered and a lot of things being tucked away in the dark corner somewhere. It's not easy. People don't care about our story. But you know, I'm here to be a, a voice of reason, a voice to you, a vo and I want you to be a voice to me. And I will speak on these things because people need to let their voice be known, heard. I'm a representation of you. And, and, and I want to let you guys know that I'm here for you guys always. It, this needs to be out, this needs to be put out so the world can hear it. It's time for people to start understanding like where are we coming from? What, is, what does it really mean? Why do people really feel the way that they feel? What are the stresses in life? It's, it's like a rat race. We are in a rat race. And and we have to get out of that rat race. It's time to re it's, it's time to be free. That's what it is. It's time to be free. I love every last one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. Like I said in every video, I say in every video, every video. I have no other way of ending the video besides saying I love you. I appreciate you. I, I just clocking in on this video. I love you. And just I want you guys to keep subscribing, keep liking the videos, keep commenting. I love hearing you guys' stories. I love hearing what you guys tell me in the comment section about everything, anything. In, in, in any of the videos, you just tell me what, what you got going on, what you're thinking, what you're feeling, how you feeling. Everything, I, pre I love it. I love it. It's just building the family. It's just, I'm trying to grow the family. I love every last one of you.